Okay, we are live. Live and law path. Um, okay, while everyone is getting into the session, it'd be great to hear from you. Great to learn where you are, where you're from, uh, what kind of things you're interested to hear about. Law path has changed drastically over the last couple of years, after the last six, seven years actually. Um, so we're super pumped to present um, a bit of an overview of the platform and give you a good rundown. So this thing is going to start off shortly. So maybe five or so minutes while a couple of people get in. Um, there's a whole heap of value in this platform and we want to make sure that we get it out to everybody. So um, in the meantime, it would be great to hear from some of the people that are in the room, uh, where you're from and what industry you're in. You can pop that into the little comment box there. Um, and also we've got a bit of a poll here too. So it would be, what are you most looking forward to covering off uh, and seeing within the platform? So pop, pop those things in there, where you're from, what industry you're in, and then you should be able to check box that on there too. People just about document, view, uh, document builder, um, legal consultations, that's a big one. Obviously you've got to have uh, lawyers on, into it, it's them. Um, where are my comments? It would be great to hear from where you guys are from. And are you guys customers? Um, existing users, new customers, it would be great to hear. A couple more minutes and then we'll jump in um, and make sure that we're getting the, the most amount of value for you guys. Okay, small events business in Newcastle. That's exciting. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Wayne, tax, tax link accounts. Well, you're definitely going to love us, Wayne. Um, we've got people all over Australia. We've got Phil from Perth. Awesome. Great to have you. Welcome back. You're already a customer. Um, Edward, accounting, fantastic. We can definitely show you a lot of value for that as well. Um, cool. Edward, brand new. Cool. Great. Well, hopefully we can provide some value for you. Awesome. Just while we get everyone else coming through. Um, where else are we all from? Southeast Melbourne. Fantastic. Wow, big range of people here. Awesome. Thanks for joining guys. Well, I want to make this as, as impactful and valuable as possible. Um, as I said before, we have been growing immensely over the past uh, past six, seven years and we've created a platform that is as for all their legal services. So what we're trying to be is, is kind of like the zero for law. You go to zero for all your accounting requirements. With LawPath, you, it's very similar, but for all your legal services. So you go to your accounting for you know incoming, outgoing. Um, obviously, you've got your accountants as well. Don't forget them. But um, for LawPath, we were all for legal. One-stop legal shop. Okay all over Australia, great to hear. Okay, just a couple more minutes and then we can jump into this presentation and provide a little bit of a value for you all. Ready? Okay, looks like we have a whole heap of people in here. Okay, great, great, great. Has anyone got any questions before we kick off? Pop them in the comments there. But it looks like a lot of people are interested about the document builder, the lawyer consultations, and also the workflows, the e-signature. There's a whole heap there. So what is this webinar? What is it all about? Well, the whole point of it is we have 200,000 users throughout Australia, which is a massive, massive achievement, and we're super proud of it. That's almost 1% of the Australian population. Um, so we're super pumped to present what has changed, what is updated, because we've got a lot of customers that just have stayed on throughout the years and they don't necessarily, they're not necessarily aware of all the awesome stuff that has, has come on in the, the, the coming months. Um, so let's jump into the next slide.
So this is going to be a quick overview of the platform, all the legal documents. We're going to cover off employment, confidentiality, intellectual property, um, all the website compliance documents that you're going to need, how to sign all of these documents, how to actually use e-signature as a tool for your business. The whole point of having e-signature, it's great as a, as a little thing, but the point of it is to speed up your systems and processes internally so you can expedite the signing of these documents. So if you want to get a customer on board, if you need to sign a document quickly on the run, you can have that ability there. Uh, we also have our legal advice plan where we do fixed free, uh, fixed fee uh, legal consultations. Um, sorry, the fixed fee legal work. Um, but we've also got our unlimited 30 minute calls with a lawyer to discuss any commercial business matter that comes up. We also do company registration. So accountants, you guys are going to love us. We are the most affordable company for company registration. So we only charge, um, the government charges $506 for the ASIC fee. We only charge $520. So $14 more than the ASIC fee and you can create a company with us. So that's super exciting. So here are some of the, cut. oh, computer's going crazy. Here are some of our lovely customers. Maybe you're in here. If you're in here, let us know. Thank you for the kind words. Um, but here are some of our customers that have loved what we've been doing so far. So let's check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna run you through the platform. I'm gonna do a bit of a demonstration to show you how to, all these little tips and tricks. Because I know when you first log into LawPath, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, and it's a little bit confusing about where is what and how can I actually use this to the fullest potential. So this is LawPath, as I said, one-stop legal shop. So what we've got here first that I like, always like to point out is as you start filling in documents, the platform has a bit of AI technology built into it. So it always ensures that, okay, well, you're filling in a mobile terms and conditions. We recommend, um, we've seen other customers filling in these documents. You should probably consider the same thing. So it'll start to recommend. So the more documents you start creating, it'll start snowballing and allowing you to fill in those documents. Um, it'll also let you know uh, that, that you've got successfully signed documents. It's kind of like the... The, the hub there. So that'll let you know whenever you need. The good news is I'm gonna start talking about a whole heap of documents and for the people that aren't customers yet, we don't actually charge you per document. We have an annual subscription that allows you to get access to the whole platform. So if it sounds like, oh my gosh, I need 10, 20, 15, you know, 100 documents, it's absolutely fine. You can download unlimited with us. So one quick spot to go to is the Law Path, Ask Law Path, area. So this is not just for legal stuff. Um, you can also do other things like a SWOT analysis. So if you just type in some random topic um, that you've heard from a friend or online, we've got all these legal guides here. Other terms like if you're talking about capital raising and you get a question like, oh yeah, you know, you're, you're a vesting, you know, I want this, this thing to vest over the next six, 12 months. What does that actually mean? Well, this is the deep dive. So you type any any keyword so what is a, a cliff um and i'm not talking about uh you know a, one of those weird cliffs that uh, everyone tries to avoid i'm talking about cliffs in investing so there is anything that you type in there you'll be able to find it also allows you to go through the law path library as well so if you're just on the on the, on the run you can write contractor and you'll be able to find those documents there within the document library if you've already filled in a contractor agreement That'll be my documents. So you see here that I've got a, my a contractor agreement with Smithy Smithers. There's his ABN, perfect. I need to look at this document and check it out. So that's super handy for that there. Um, so let's jump into some of the more fun features that I'm really, really excited about here. Has anyone got any questions so far about anything on the platform? Perfect. We're going to be covering off a heap of questions at the end. So hold on to those questions uh, and we'll be able to help you out there. So let's jump into the workflows. This is a super exciting new feed that recently it really helps you while you're on the run, hiring people or creating websites. So that's what we found people use this the most for whenever they bring on a new starter. So how does it work? Well, what this is, is a basic, um, it's a bit of a quiz that we use to find out what kind of person you're bringing on. 
um, so it gives you the recommendation. So every time you're bringing on a new starter, say most business with intern, well, not most, some are working with interns, most are working with casuals and part-timers. And as you start to scale and grow, you're gonna need different documents for the different services. So we have the different workflows and every single workflow based on the information that you provide is gonna um, be different. So let's say we're bringing on a part-time employee. Is the employee based in Australia and New Zealand? Yes, they are. And this, this employee is going to be hire Steve. Great. Now, um, most people don't have an internal HR system uh, or HR person to do this job for them. So that's what we've created here. We've created a little bit of a mini checklist for you to recruit your employees. So we've got checklists. Everyone loves a checklist. You can't get on a plane and take off without a checklist. And same should be for your businesses. You should have systems and processes that allow you to efficiently hire people. That's what this is. Um, so what we've got here is inviting your candidate to attend an interview. Now, these ones are really good. I like them. You can just copy, paste, pop them in there. If you get stuck with anything, we've got the blocks to be able to guide you there as well. However, the ones you really should be caring about here are the ones that are marked important. So that's going to give you a quick overview of all the employment documents that you're going to need to bring, or sorry, all the legal documents that you're going to need to bring all these people on. So when it comes to hiring this part-timer, you're going to need this document. Then need to send that out for signature. But what you can see here is as you tick them off, you get a percentage. So if you do have someone else, like an admin person helping you out, you can say, well, how far along are we hiring, Steve? Well, we're 53% of the way done. Okay, well, we've still got a little bit of way to go. Um, we haven't finished our employee handbook. We have an employee handbook built into the platform. It asks you six questions and prints out 159 pages of employee handbooks. So you don't have to waste time trying to cobble them all together. We put it all there for you. So keep an eye on all of those. So that's a fun one to go through. The other workflow that you can touch on is um, getting a website. So this is for people that start at the beginning of their journey and they haven't yet built a website. Now, you may be really good at um, service businesses and you're thinking, you know, this whole website malarkey, it's, it's, it's too big, it's too scary. But we try and simplify it and put it into a little checklist for you to make it so easy. So let's say we are selling a service and um, we have set up, well, we haven't, let's just say we have set up the website a little bit. Are we collecting personal information? Yes. Um, Let's say it's going to be worldwide because if you're collecting data from Australia, that's one thing. But from a legal perspective, if you're collecting it worldwide, you need to have other policies in place. So you don't actually need to speak to a lawyer to understand this. We've created the platform to be able to do this for you. Um, are you going to have affiliate links? Maybe let's just have that. Start a website. Let's go. Create your workflow. And then we've got our step-by-step -step guide to be able to do this. And here it all is here. And then it's going to bring you all of the important documents that you're going to need on that. All your refund policies, the GDPR privacy policy. What the heck is a GDPR privacy policy? Well, it's required by anyone that's collecting data from the European Union. So you need to have this in place um, or you can get in a lot of trouble. But you don't want to spend all the time thinking about it. You just enter in your basic information and the platform will fill it all in for you. So you don't need to go to a lawyer and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on all of these documents or know what they do need to go through. You just need to check them off. Um, so that's super fun. Um, now, as I said, the, the workflow is very new. So what we are going to be doing is adding more and more and more workflow. So if you've got any tips and tricks about which ones you want to see, we've got a big pipeline of what we're going to put forward. So we're pumped to see that. Here is the next feature I wanted to talk about is creating the legal documents. Um, so we've have a couple of platform updates as well. So those that have been existing users of ours, we do have um, an audit trail for our e-signature. And um, you can also upload e-signatures within the platform as well now. Uh, we've covered off our work workflows here. Um, and one thing that I did skip over was actually our Law path tutorials. So we've got it in here, the about section. You just go over to about and then at platform tutorials will walk you through a step by step guide of any sequence that you've got any questions on and um, they'll be able to 
walk you through. So I know I'm covering things off really, really quick. If you want to go take a step back, then you just watch these videos, pause it, get to where you want to go and um, get the answer, which is awesome. So let's jump into the documents. So the way it works, um, typically what small businesses have to do is they have to go to a lawyer and pay, you know, 500, 800, 700, $1,500 for a legal document. Some of your accountants on there, I bet you've, you've gone through this process and you know how expensive it can be for your small business client. What we've tried to do is commoditize the way these systems are created. Now, we love lawyers, we are lawyers, but there are situations for some lawyers where you go to them and they're gonna fill in a legal document for you and they're going to um, charge you by an hourly rate and you're not gonna know exactly how much you're gonna pay for that. Um, the way we set it out is super transparent and super easy, but you can see here we have 339 documents available and this number is constantly changing because we're updating, bringing on new recommendations. We have our live chat support. All you need to do is say, hey, I need a document that does this, this and this. Um, can you help me out? And then we will add that to the list if it's already not there. So this platform and feature here is kind of like Google. It, you just type in a keyword. So you're starting a company, you're going to need a shareholders agreement if you have a business partner, right? So all you do is you type in share. But then we've got all these little annoying little documents that you need to update directors resolutions, um, add and remove shareholders. We've got share subscription agreements, share vesting agreements, share transfer forms, all of these fun ones that you need, we've got those there. Um, you type in employ. Oh, if I can spell it right. Um, we've got part-time agreements, full-time agreements, contractor, subcontractor. Um, we've got long form, short forms, depending on what you want, casuals. Um, we've got pre-employment medical form. So if you need to have the, those in place, we've got those too. Um, what's another one? Contract. I mean, that's going to be your contractors, your cleaning contracts. We've got service. So if you're a standard business providing a service, are you providing it to customers? Yes. Is it going to be a professional service? Yes. So it's it's not just the same document, it's multiple documents for a similar service and you can check out the ones that are going to be most relevant for you. If you are a, a plumbing service, then go for this one. If you're a graphic design business, go for this one. Um, so for any of your web design, bookkeeping, yoga, SaaS agreements, all of that's built in there. Any service agreement that you need. Um, if you're, again, accountants, you guys are going to love this, referral agreements. You've got mortgage brokers, you've got lawyers, you can have a referral agreement set up there. Um, website, I know everyone on here probably has a website, but I can almost guarantee not everyone, actually I can guarantee, we've got a lot of people on this call and I know definitely people don't have their website terms and conditions set up. It's super easy. Just click on website terms and conditions, goods, marketplace, services, and then you're done then you're compliant. And then the whole point of a website terms and conditions is to protect you as a business owner. It's all about, hey, you can't come onto my photography blog and start taking all my images. These are mine, they're copyrighted, they're all protected. Um, and, and then privacy policy is another one. That's the one that protects the client, but also the way you share their data. So you need to make sure that you have one of those in place because that is a requirement. Um, and then obviously security, um, we've got some security policies built into the platform as well. Um, one thing to mention for our accounting clients, we've got trust documents as well. Variation of discretionary trust, unit trust, bear trust, fixed unit trust, um, consent to act as a trustee. One thing that I really, really want to point out to everyone, we're 100% Australian based. Um, we have people that's paid a job is to update these documents to the latest legislation. So recently there was a change in discretionary trust and where we would have to exclude foreign beneficiaries. We've got that document in there to allow you to be able to do for all your clients. So you can rest assured that when there's a change in legislation, we're going to keep updated. For the customers that have been using us for a very long time, um, there has been a change in casual employment. And that's why we've now needed to create it to convert casual employment to a part-time or a full-time agreement. Now, make sure that if you are using the platform, you use the newest one in here because the rules have changed. And we would have sent an email out and we always keep people updated to, to all of that. Um, so that's cool. <clears throat> Next step 
is one of these things that is a bit too hard, is put into the too hard basket. It's called the employee handbook. This is super easy to get set up. Um, one thing, another thing to, to be aware of is if you just go to view details, this is going to tell you what the document actually to allow you to, to move forward. So like employment exit policies, sounds like what it might be, but let's just check in. Gives you a good brief overview of what it is and then what's inside the document. So is this a document I want? Yes, it is, perfect. Let's go create the document. The one I wanna create for us is the um, handbook that I was just looking at, because I think this is going to be, you get one free legal document within our platform, this is the one that you should be using. So go to view details and it's gonna give you a run through of everything. So it gives you IT policy, drugs and alcohol policy, anti-discrimination, harassment, grievancy, all of these things all within the platform. So let's jump in. How do we create a document? Okay, I've been doing a lot of talking here. Um, has anyone got questions so far about anything that I've covered so far? Um, and what, um, yeah, any questions so far? So we've got, how can I add a watermark in the document builder? Okay, so if you're looking to add a watermark, um, we don't have a watermark feature, but we do have a logo and a header and a footer we're going to touch on in just a couple of minutes because this is super helpful to make your documents look a little bit more professional, right? You wanna, you wanna make sure that it's not coming from law path, it's coming from your company. Um, so let's jump in. Uh, so what I love here is the little magic wand. You can see that Joe's House Proprietary Limited is um, first up. Now that's because I've entered in my details into the magic wand. Um, so this is, this is a super handy feature for you guys to be able to fill in your details once and then it's done. So it will automatically fill out your business name, your ABN, your ACN, your address, so you don't have to. Now you do have the ability to remove it and just type whatever if it's not the right one. Let's say you're creating an employee handbook for a friend of yours. Now, the way it works is you can create unlimited documents on our platform. So if you want to create it for a friend, you want to create one document, that's fine. You want to create 100 documents, that's absolutely fine as well. We have no restrictions on that. If you want to turn the magic wand off, you just toggle it there. Boom. Cool. So let's go through this employee handbook. Now, legal, I'm not going to lie, is confusing. So what we've got is a platform that asks basic questions. So you don't need to know what all this stuff means. You just need to ask, answer this basic question. Who should the employees contact if they have any questions about the employee handbook? It's called Job Law Path because that's the magic wand. But you know what? I think they don't want to speak to me. I want them to speak to the HR manager because you know I don't want to deal with that. Um, <laughs> that's their problem. Um, that's why I pay the HR manager to do the thing. Now, if you don't have a HR manager, I'm very sorry, but Joe Lawpath is going to have to do it. Perfect. Now, what policies do I want? Well, the whole heap there, just select all. It's easier. If you don't want a surveillance policy, no, no, I don't need a surveillance policy. Perfect. Select all the ones that are relevant for you. You can see this is how the pat the platform builds itself. It's got conditional formatting based on what you enter in. So it's the same with dates and formats. If you're in New South Wales and, and this document requires New South Wales legislation, it will automatically enter that in for you. And um, it will conditionally format it based on each state that you need. So hit next, next, who should the employees contact if you need an escalation that needs to go to the CEO. Perfect, done. So that's it. That's how easy it is to build out your, um, your employment handbook here. So you can see here, we've got a whole heap of documents, IT policy, computer, um, discrimination, all of that built in. Now, the way I like to think about the employee handbook is that you're gonna wanna make a couple of little one to 2% tweaks in here for, for whatever reason, just to make it a little, like feel like a little bit more special. It's 100% legally binding as it is, but we've got an advanced editor built into the platform here. So you'll be able to use that no matter what. Okay, oh gosh, I, I, loaded, <laughs> I loaded my header <laughs> previously with my face. Uh, so <laughs> that was a good idea. <laughs> So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, so our header feature, this is super helpful. 
uh, where is my header? Okay, so let's get, let's say edit safe header. I wanna edit this one and get rid of my little face. So I can replace and I can find my law path logo, which is a lot more professional. <laughs> <laughs> you can zoom in to make it fit. Um, you can have multiple uh, features. JPEG is the best. Um, if you can get PNG file for your logo, even better. That's just a bit more transparent. And then you've got it there. You can change the um, design of the header as well. So it can be um, um, with writing too. And you'll be able to make those changes as, as needed. Same with page footer. You can have it structured so it's page, page, has your logo, make it look professional, make it look whatever you want it to look like. So you don't actually need to download it into Word and play around with it. We've got the advanced editor here. So let's have a look what happens when we remove a clause. You know, my IT policy, I don't like this, remove. Automatically changes the removing it. So you can see here how it says A. If I remove the A, it should just be B, C, D. No, it automatically updates it. So it's A, B, C, D, and it's in a function that works perfectly. So if you want to add a clause in, you can do that. You can edit it, amend it, and do all of that stuff. Um, so that's super happy. That's super helpful. We've also got um, adding a table. So if you wanted to add a table for like a commission structure or something like that, you'd be able to do that. Now we have find and replace. So if you've if you've messed something up and, and you want to find someone's name like Joe, you can replace Joe with, um, you know, Sean, do whatever. It's replace one or you can replace them all. Now it'll all be Sean's house. You, there's heaps of ways that you could work with that. We've got bullet points numbers. We've got bullet point lists. We've got page breaks. We've got indentations. We've got adding paragraphs. So you can really customize this to make it a perfect fit for you. Um, now, what is also amazing is we have unlimited 30 minute calls with a lawyer to discuss any commercial matter that you have. All you need to do is click on this button and you can put this forward to your lawyer and say, hey, I'm just doing my discrimination policy and I don't understand what this clause means. Can you give me a bit of a walkthrough? You don't need to pay $500 an hour for that. You don't need to mess around. Um, it's just a quick question, jump on a call, select a time that suits you and our lawyers will get back to you um, at that time and walk you through the document. So let's review our document and save it. So we have a couple of options here. Let's pretend this is like a non-disclosure agreement. We can download it into PDF, which means nobody is allowed to edit it or can edit it and then they can sign it physically. Um, obviously COVID is a thing that we all are aware of. Um, so what you can actually do here is use e-sign. So you can actually get this document e-signed for your business. This is one of the biggest features that we've recently added. And this is sensational because we're not seeing all our customers face to face. Um, the account and clients that are on here, you need to create companies and you need to sign legal documents for companies, for your clients. We've got e-sign for all our company, company documentation. If you're bringing on a new staff member, um, you're going to want them to send them the document so they can read it, review it and sign it. Um, they don't have to come into the office and do all of that. If they're working from home, there's no pressure on that. You can have the option to just you sign it or others sign it. What's really handy here, <clears throat> it just, um, just me is a document that I need to sign. Say you're the, you're, you're the CEO and you've got a share certificate, sign that, that's great. Me and others, that's going to be your customer. So kind of going back to that scenario that I was talking about before, your customers, uh, we work with a lot of small businesses, right? And um, we work a lot of digital agencies and what they say is like, hey, yeah, Mr. Customer, you want to get on board? And the customer says, yes, absolutely. I want to get on board. Great. What I'll do, I'll send you an email. Can you just check it out and like, you know, sign it, uh, print out the thing, sign it, scan it back, send it to me. The customer's like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll do that. So what the um, person does is they start filling it, start doing the work, right? They start building the website for that client. Well, a week later, they don't hear anything back. They call the customer. It, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a good way to handle it. The way we do now, and a lot of our customers do, is, hey, Mr. Customer, do you want to sign up to our advertising um, platform? Absolutely. Yes, I do. Great. Let's, let me send you this. Check your email. I've just sent you this documentation. Here it is. Joe from Lawpath, first name, last name, email. Pop that in, 
well, I guess I better pop some info in. And then that will send, it has to be an email, and that will send it out to the client. They will then get that email straight away, and then you will be able to tell them, um, hey, let's walk through this together. I know that legal documents are scary, but our one is super clear. It's written in basic English and it protects both of us. And then the customer is very comfortable to sign that. So all you need to do is drag your signatures down here, add any text field that you need and add any date field that's required. And then same for your customer. You, you continue on um, and then you'll be able to do that. What I might do is just quickly go into another document. Um, one thing to be aware of as well is the kind of legalities around e-signature. So I guess the assumption is e-signature might not be as legally binding as a normal signature because of, um, you know, it's brand new in technology. Well, the way it works for us is we've actually got audit trails. So someone just scribbling a note on the piece of paper is less secure than an e-signature because we are able to track their exact location. So we've got audit trails for when the document was sent, when it was first viewed, when it was signed, when it was completed, when it was amended, and all of that is acting as a timeline at the bottom of your document. So you can tell if there's any issues. No, you did sign it, Mr. Customer, because the IP address is for your business. There's timestamps, it's got your user email, we've tracked all of this and um, it's proof of your signature. Now you don't really get that with a normal document. So that is super helpful too. So when you get a document, so let's let's do like a, a non-disclosure. So you type in non-disclosure, we can just quickly run through how quickly and easy it is. Let's create this document and then fill it in. See, again, all my information is saved there straight away. It doesn't force it in. I can change it, but it's all there when you need it. So Joe's house, yep, that's me, that's me. It's gonna then recommend, whoa, who's the new customer? Well, this is John Smith, super excited to have him on board. Next, 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 next. Here's the state and legislation. So it has conditional formatting that changes the legislation based on what you need it to do. So you're never gonna get caught out with a document that's not suitable for what you need. Um, download it into Word if you would like, customize. Let's just, we, we understand this one, we're happy with it. Let's just e-sign it. Um, I'm gonna just do just me for now, but you can make the assumption the other person's gonna sign it as well. So you go to the document, where do I need to sign? And you can see here for the e-signature tool, we've got the, um, the drop down option to where I've drawn my own signature. Now, there are other options which are super useful as well. You can type your signature. So if, you, if you're if you not so tech savvy, so I tried to do an e-sign with my mum one day for, I don't know, for whatever it was, and it was an absolute nightmare. She didn't know how to use a trackpad. She didn't know how to use a mouse, and it was embarrassing. So we ended up just typing in mum's signature here, right? And that's fully legally binding. Um, what I like to do though is I know my signature, so I can just draw it in here. This is my, well, that's my signature. Pop it in there and then reshape and resize it to whatever you want. For those people that are a little bit more tech savvy, you can actually upload your signature as well. So if you've got one already saved into the platform, you can do that, add that in, move it about. Now, text field, it doesn't necessarily have to be your name. This can be edited to be anything. So this here, it says disclosure, um, disclose, disclosure. Um, let's say that you wanted to add an extra clause here and it says, um, I don't know, you know, it's like a checkbox. You can have an X if you want a checkbox. You can, you can have whatever you want. You can change the font size to fit and then just insert that there. And then you review it and complete. You can have as many signatures as you need and um, you can just drop them there. Way it works on the other side of things is when you draw signatures for other people, you can also drop as many signatures in the one place. They can just click next and it will select and highlight all of them. So let's review my document and make sure I'm happy with it. Yes, I am. I'm gonna download this and store it into my platform and give a copy to the client. Done, that's it. You've just signed a non-disclosure agreement for your clients. Um, well, for whoever you did it for. That then takes you to document library. Um, okay, I'm gonna answer some questions that have popped up. So I'm gonna jump into this. Um, okay, so, oh yes, look at that, good question, Mark. 
Mark is on it. Mark is jumping the gun here. He has asked the question about multi-user um, releases. So what happens is you're a small business, but you don't necessarily want every single staff member to see all your legal documents. This is going to be released very, very soon. So that is due for in July. So you will be able to have multi-tenancy. So you'll be able to have <clears throat> you having, you know, your contractors, your subcontractors, you can share those with your HR manager. Um, you can have all of those documents. And then also um, if another client is like a salesperson, right? They're only gonna to wanna to see the service level agreements. You're not gonna to wanna to share the rest of the documents with them. So we'll be able to have multiple users on the platform and you'll be able to do that. So that's coming. Um, the best news is what I like about LawPath the most is that whatever subscription that you purchase, you're grandfathered in at that discounted rate. So you, as we bring on these new functions and these new features, these just get added to your account. And that's kind of why we're doing these demos right now is because a lot of people have been on this platform for one, two, three, four, five years, and they just haven't been keeping up to date with it all. So it's awesome opportunity there. What we're releasing Friday is customers that haven't created a customer, uh, an, a company with LawPath, we will allow them to be able to import their company stuff and you'll be able to kind of keep on top of, hey, um, my company renewal is coming up today. Hey, um, you know, I need to I need to update this thing within the company. So that is an awesome function and feature now as well. For accountants, do we need to add law path details for the documents? No, you do not need to add law path document, uh, law, law path information. Um, you get access to the full document. So let us let me show you what a document looks like once complete. This is a self-signed document. Um, one thing to be aware of over here is our pop-out panel. This is something when you start to get a few more documents, you've got a number of non-disclosure documents here. Just add a note, um, um, a non-disclosure, non-disclosure self-signed for, you know, John Smith. Save that there. Um, so when you, as an accountant, you're gonna have, you know, a hundred, trusts and, and all of that stuff. You can also change the document name here with this little drop down, and you can yeah. is people are, you know, should be organized with their documentation. And that's why we've got folders. So it, we've got all the folders here that you can get set, set up with. Um, Non-disclosures, you just roll them up, drop it into there. Um, one thing that I wanted to touch on here, you can see all these folders with these check boxes. So those workflows are super valuable. <clears throat> you can see um, the big list, but really what you're caring about is the most important ones is the documents. So what we've done is we've got the option to go to the workflow but we've also got the HR documents that you actually need to be completed. And you can see that it's not done yet. So it keeps you on top of things. So you can quickly check in, where am I at with hiring these people? Um, so keep all your stuff organized. You can actually have this as a customer. So John Smith's proprietary plumbing, you can have them there um, and you'll be, able to, you'll be able to do that as well. Another function that's really cool that I like is that um, I, you start to see customers getting familiar with the documentation in there. You can actually bookmark all your documents as well. So you'll be able to select and choose some of your favorites. I'm just gonna jump some more questions. Cool. Okay, so someone is, I didn't see the website advertising agreement on the list of services agreements. Okay, cool. That's a good, that's a good spot. You're very quick. Um, maybe I was probably a bit too quick. No, we do have an advertising agreement on our platform. What you're able to do, I guess, when I typed in services agreement, um, that was the keyword that we were searching services. So it only brought up all the service, the ones with service in the name. So the one I'm looking for is the, um, what you would be typing in is website, type it up here, boom, go to template library, website disclaimer. Now you're like, oh, well, there's a development agreement. So maybe we just type in advertising. 
and it will bring up a list of all the advertising agreements, web advertising agreements, mobile app terms and conditions, privacy policy, and you'll be able to work on that one there. And you're actually, this is your favorite one, so you just bookmark it. And then I like this one as well, you bookmark it. And then you like this one as, as well, and you bookmark it. And then you can see all your bookmarks, all your bookmarks here. Um, Oh yeah, so that was for your free one. Yep, yeah, so the way it works on our platform is you get one free legal document, have a bit of, the whole point of that is to give you a bit of an overview to understand the value of the document, that they are all drafted by lawyers, they are 100% legally binding, and um, you'll be able to download that. Now you won't be able to take advantage of the advanced editing features, so you won't be able to edit the document, um, um, but you will be able to use, use it um, fully 100% legally binding, which is great. Um, okay, we've got some more questions here. Okay. Now, very, very good question. So what happens all the time with these documents? And this is how our business has evolved. We started with company registrations and what happened next is people needed legal documents. So we started providing legal documents. And then what happened is we have a lawyer marketplace as well because small businesses need legal services. So what we have here is our lawyer marketplace. Um, where you can get fixed price quotes for legal work. But what we then found is that a lot of small businesses get a lot of little legal questions now. There are big questions as well, don't get me wrong, but it's more like, oh, hey, I'm just um, dealing, like let's say you're on the receiving end of an advertising agreement, right? I don't actually understand what this clause means. Am I just going to sign it and do that? Or should I speak with someone and ask them what this is? So there'll be a clause in one of your documents, you know, let's, let's just say this is, this is a typical situation, right? So a small business gets that. They would then say, I don't know what this clause means. They would then get our legal advice plan and set up a free call. Well, not a free call. Once you're a customer, it's a, it's a free call. Once you set up a call um, and you'll be able to get access to a lawyer on call whenever you need. So what happens is you get unlimited 30 minute phone calls with a lawyer to discuss any commercial business matter that comes up. So that is where you would be able to sit down with your lawyer and say, hey, I'm just on the run here. Um, I've just received this advertising agreement. We're super pumped to, to get these guys on board, but I don't know what cl this clause means on page 15. And I don't know what this clause means on page 21. Can you walk me through it? So you would just upload your document. So let's go, let's go through the process. Um, let's go through the process and how it works. You would say all of this tick. What area of law is it in? Well, it's in commercial law. Great. Enter it. I do not know what this clause means and I'm looking to blah, blah, blah. It needs to be 120 letters. Ask better questions, get better answers. That's my rule. Select a document from the library. I don't know what this clause means. Oh, well, what pages is it? Page two, page three, page 89, and page 43. Perfect. You then select a time that suits you. And you can see here, today is booked out. I mean, it's, it's one o'clock almost. And I appreciate everyone taking the time to run through this, but it's one o'clock, so. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. to discuss this legal matter, and then the further down you go, the more it opens up as a as a um, as a time. 1:30 Tuesday is the best time for me. Boom! The lawyer will then call you about that clause. Now, what that clause actually means is every time that customer brings in a lead for you, every time that advertising agreement brings a lead in for you, they own the rights to the lead. Do you want that, Mr. Customer? Heck no! No, I'm paying for these leads. These are mine. Fantastic cross that out and enter this, this, and this. And then that way you've got a fully legally binding document. Haven't gone into a situation you're not fully um, convinced about, and then you can get the right solution. So it is about big questions, um, but it's also about small questions as well. Um, can we have a parent account for multiple businesses, i.e. trading names under a parent company? Yes, so that's what we're bringing into shortly, where you'll be able to um, have existing businesses. That's gonna be released by Friday. So the best thing about LawPath as well, if, you, if you're a crazy entrepreneur, like a lot of our customers are, and they have multiple businesses, you only need one subscription for Joe. So that means you can actually use these documents to 
help your other businesses. Same with the legal advice plan. You can have unlimited 30 minute calls for this individual and this business, but you can also have it for your other businesses as well. So that's awesome. Um, and can you combine files together into one? Absolutely, you can, you can um, edit them on the advanced edit, copy, paste, remove clauses, add clauses and make them multiple documents. In that situation is where I would then be having a conversation with my lawyer. I would say, hey, Mr. Lawyer, um, um, let's have a chat about this because I wanna cover it off. Now, how many of our customers, are, how many on this call have got the legal advice plan or who hasn't got the legal advice plan? Where is everyone at at the moment? Oh, perfect. Oh, well, great question here, Ashley. Great question. I get confused with what documentation to choose for different purposes. As you say, there is a lot of choice. Absolutely. That is one of the biggest things for small businesses. You guys are the experts at, at construction, at cleaning, at contracting, at, at accounting, and you're all of a sudden expected to know about the law. So the way we've structured this is we have this legal advice plan. It's unlimited 30 minute phone calls with a lawyer to discuss any commercial business matter that comes up. And that's this one here. It is only $89 a month, um, which would then allow you to have those calls. The first call that I always recommend is to have a discovery call. That's where the lawyer sits down with you um, over the phone for half an hour running through your entire business and they try and build a bit of a roadmap. So it's a bit of a discovery, a bit of a roadmap to help you along the journey. Okay, well, at the three month mark, you're gonna to start to run into something like this. So this is the legal stuff that you need right now. This is what it's gonna look like in three months. This is the legal stuff you're gonna need then. This is what it's gonna look like at six months, at nine months, at 12 months, and going forward as well. So sim these are some of the things that you need to consider. So that is unlimited 30 minute calls with a lawyer. Um, it is a much more affordable way to go about it. And you don't feel, you know, you don't feel stuck. You don't have to spend three, four, five, six days waiting for a lawyer to get back to you. You've got a legal problem, you get a legal solution. That's, that's the whole point of this platform. So um, I wanna answer some more questions and then I can run in how to make the most of um, this plan. Um, but any more questions coming on? Um, Okay, so can you can you sign addresses from parent email address? Again, good question. Once you have the multi-tenancy set up, which is coming in July, you'll be able to send it from multiple people. Um, so that's why we've got that set up. What you can do is get just others to sign it and then they can send it back to you and you can sign it under something else. Um, okay, and then any other questions that are coming up? So if people, yeah, there is a good, great, look at that. Poll's already built for me. What law path plan are you currently on? Or, neither, I'm new, it would be good to have anyone that is interested in the legal advice plan or the essentials plan, because we do actually have a bit of a special offer for the clients that have made it this far, because I know I've been doing a lot of rambling here, so I really appreciate you taking the time to run through it. Um, one other thing for value for the existing users or people that decide to jump on, we have our partner offers here. Um, so and we've got over $10,000 worth of, of platforms, so free accounting conversations, 20% off lifetime discount to zero. That is absolutely massive. 20%, if it's $1,000, well, it's not $1,000, um, that, but that's like 100, 200 bucks a, a year. QuickBooks, business insurance, so all of these small business things. This is awesome. Canva is fantastic. It makes awesome designs. You don't need to hire a designer. You can do it all yourself or get your admin people. CRM systems, Gmail, all of this stuff comes up. Um, happy to answer any more questions that are, that are coming up. For accountants, for, okay, I'm gonna do a little quick thing for accountants. Here is how you create a company for your business. Um, you can see I've got Joe's Plumbing, Steve's Plumbing. You can have all your clients there. When you need to create another business, you just click start, a bit, start an ACN and you can create all those companies. If you're structuring your intellectual property as a small business, then you can do that also. And that's a good conversation to have with your lawyer. Um, great. Okay. A couple more questions here. Has anyone got any more questions coming through? 
Um, what I do want to put forward to you is a bit of the promotional offer. Now, if you are already a, a LawPath customer, you're getting access to all of this stuff already, but you can refer your friends for an additional three months for free. So that's absolutely awesome to have you guys. Um, in the comments, if you are interested, we do have the legal advice plan, which is usually $1,068 for the whole year, but we do have the offer at the moment where it's only $828. For the full 12 months and as I said before if you are new uh, whatever you sign up with you get access to this for the life of the subscription so you'll be able to get access for the full 12 months um, and continuing on you'd be grandfathered in that discounted rate so I'm happy to have one of the team reach out to you they can run through the situation that you currently have set up and if there's any questions um, can you jump into the comments which subscription you're leaning more towards and which one, or if you wanted one of our guys to give you a call, just jump in the comments there. Um, so what we also have here is the LawPath membership network on Facebook. This is great. Everyone shares whole heaps of tips and tricks going backwards and forwards about, oh, hey, you know, it would be great to have this document. And we need this one. And um, we, we filled this document in and, and loved it. And just a bit of a way, just on the legal side of things, like, oh, I've never done anything with legal. What was your first call like with your lawyer? Um, it's all secure, and we also have the education center built into the platform, so you can bounce ideas off of that um, and then edit all those documentation there. Um, so if anyone's got any more questions, pop them below. But thank you very much. We've been going for, for seven, six, seven years now, and it's amazing to have almost 1% of the population as users. So we appreciate you all taking the time to run through this. Um, if you get stuck with anything anywhere, jump on the live chat and the guys there will help you out. Send a conversation. This is all Australia based. They're all um, real people and they'll be able to answer your questions super efficiently. Uh, for the legal advice plan, that's for those legal consultations. You just hit set up a call and a lawyer will speak to you tomorrow at 2 p.m. if you want that. Um, nobody else is, is giving such a quick service to be able to get these things done. Don't worry about legal. That's, that's the whole point of our platform. One space for it all. Um, but if there aren't any, any more questions, will this offer be emailed to us? Yes, I think it will be. So if you did want to take, take advantage of it, all you need to do, there will be an upgrade button. Oh, actually, no, there won't be an upgrade button because you need to take advantage of the code. The code is here. It is lawpathmind.lawpath.com forward slash sale. And do you want to pop that? I'll pop that into the, the show notes there, if that's what we call it. Um, and, then, and then you'll be able to either get access to the essentials plan for $248 or you'll be able to get the legal advice plan for $828. The difference again is unlimited 30 minute calls with the lawyer as well as access to the platform. And then the essentials plan there is $20. Um, any more questions? Um, anything about the platform there? Um, but it's awesome. 200,000 people is a lot of customers and we're super proud of what we've achieved so far. You'll be grandfathered in for all the new functions, all the new features that you'll be able to get. Um, so if you, if you need anything more from us, jump on the live chat, give us a call and don't forget, refer a friend and you'll get three months for free added to your plan. So that's a super, super helpful function as well. Um, but if there aren't any more questions, I will let you go, go and enjoy your uh, wonderful Thursday afternoon. Thank you very much, guys.